Portable Alpha is a strategy that uses derivatives to gain market exposure, or beta, coupled with an investment in a separate and distinct strategy designed to generate excess returns, or alpha. Portable Alpha strategies with equities trace their beginnings back to the 1980s. Before we discuss Portable Alpha strategies, let's review both components separately, alpha and beta. Alpha is a measure of the active return on an investment or the excess return above a benchmark such as the S&P 500. For example, let's assume the S&P 500 is up 10% over a period and an investor's portfolio is up 12%. The additional two percentage points above the benchmark is referred to as alpha. Alpha can also be negative too, as would be the case if the investor's portfolio returned less than the benchmark of 10%. While adding alpha is possible, the challenge in doing so has led to the popularity of passive investing. Passive investing is where you just buy every stock in an index, such as the S&P 500, to match the return of the market. Beta. Beta is both a measure of volatility as well as a term that describes exposure to a benchmark or index, such as the S&P 500. It expresses the relative volatility of a stock relative to the market. The market in this case is the S&P 500. If a stock has a beta of 1.20, it is 20% more volatile than the S&P 500. If the S&P 500 was up 10%, a stock with a beta of 1.20 would be expected to rise by 12%. An S&P 500 index fund, which owns each of the 500 members of the index, has a beta of exactly 1.00. If an investor was buying beta, it would refer to investing in the market, usually through derivatives such as S&P 500 futures. Futures are a cheap and efficient way to obtain beta exposure. Now, what if you combined the incredibly liquid, efficient, and cheap source of beta like S&P futures with alpha derived from the active fixed income investing? The result would be a strategy known as portable alpha. Let's assume you have $120,000 to invest you could obtain S&P 500 exposure by investing the entire 120,000 in the 500 member stocks in the S&P. This gives you complete replication of the S&P 500. Or you could buy one e-mini S&P 500 futures contract with a dollar notional amount of 120,000. With futures, you only have to put down $5,000, leaving 115,000 to invest in the short duration fixed income securities. The result is also complete replication of the S&P 500. However, the fixed income portion provides additional return, or alpha, beyond your beta. By taking and porting alpha from the 115,000 investment along with your beta from the e-mini purchase, you have executed a portable alpha strategy. While the S&P 500 is a primary focus with equity portable alpha strategists, portable alpha can be done with nearly any benchmark such as the Russell 2000, the S&P Midcap 400, as well as with fixed income portfolios and commodity investments. Portable alpha strategies combine active management with passive market exposure to enhance returns. This is especially important in an era of low investment returns in markets such as fixed income.